guys, so I'm on my way up to Yellow River State Forest. We're gonna spend a week in there. I'm meeting up with a few good buddies. Uh, Colin from Kincaid Outdoors, that's his YouTube channel. I'll have a link down in the description below. And my good buddy Dan with Herbert T Outdoors. Also, the link will be down below in the description. We're gonna go out for the weekend and we're gonna try to catch some trout, do some hammock camping, maybe even some tent camping. Hey, what's going on everyone I am finally here after about a four and a half hour drive I made it to Yellow River State Forest I've got my huge expedition uh, frame backpack on my hiking bag I usually take this when I go with the family carry a lot more stuff I got two really good buddies coming down so I wanted to bring a lot of stuff that way we're all comfortable and just nice relaxing weekend and get to try and do some really cool stuff for you guys so if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that like button, comment, let me know that you're new, share this out, tell a friend, tell a lover, tell a co-worker, and uh, let's keep going, shall we? All right, guys, I went back, got to, went back to the Jeep, got the rest of my stuff that I needed, like the cooler, the fishing rod, some hot dog buns, all that good stuff. But it started to rain, and I think it's gonna rain all week here. So since I'm the first one here, I gotta go ahead and get the campsite. I can't even speak up. I gotta get the campsite all, all put together. I need to put my shelter up, clean out this whole area, make sure there's enough room to everyone set their stuff up. It's gonna be the first Wood Squad meetup, so this is gonna be pretty cool. Like I said, today I brought my big, my uh, it's called the Alps Outdoors bag. It is huge, massive, I think it's like 80 liter or something like that. Uh, I brought a lot of extra stuff that I probably won't even use, but I went ahead and brought it just for the comfort of everyone, you know, just kind of show like, this is not a strict survival kind of video. This is a laid back, chill, relaxing camping video. Thunder's going, so I gotta get going. So, catch you guys in a minute. Like I said, I brought my tent today. I brought a hammock. I, I'll probably end up using both. I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, depends on how bad this weather really gets. If I want to stay in my hammock or if I want to just go ahead and crawl up in my little one person tent. It's nice that these parks have these benches here. That way you can uh, put like a big bag like this and you get here and it's all muddy and stuff. You don't have to set it down in the mud. Really enjoying that. Here's the tent stakes and the tent poles. So bad. We got our outdoor vitals pillow. Can't go camping without one of those it seems like. So, if you guys have been following my channel, uh, you guys know a really good buddy of mine, Tate. He has his own company. Uh, that's his company logo right there. It's called East Tree Handmaids. He got me this hammock. This is going to be like the actual first time going out camping with it uh, and see how it really works. I love how light, I mean, you guys, this is not even a pound, maybe a pound. I don't know. It's pretty light. And I got my, uh, my Inu straps for my Inu hammock. So, I'm going to go ahead and set this up right over here and then get a tarp over and then I'll probably put up my tent as well. Um, this is a nice covered area so I'm not getting quite as wet but it is raining pretty good out. So let's go ahead and I'll take you guys right over here. You, you wanna follow me around this corner? Just right over here. I promise it's not a long walk. Okay. Let's see how fast I can get this done on film. Take out my two steps. Hit a woodsman sack right over here. Awesome bag, really love it. The reason I brought two is for all of my filming equipment. A lot of people don't understand 
going out shooting these videos, I gotta have my camera, I gotta have my drone, I gotta have extra batteries, power banks, all that good stuff. So, you guys are like, whoa, I thought he brought the other bag, that's why. And now we're gonna take out the E Street handmade hammock that my good buddy Tate sent me. I'm excited to use this. I've used it in the backyard a few times, but you know, it's nothing like actually out here in the field getting a really good review on it. These traps, they have a bunch of loops you can tie onto. So if you're trying to figure out the perfect uh, distance, you know, you don't have to keep adjusting your line and all that stuff. So just like that, like I said, these got really nice loops. So there we go. We got our hammock set up. About perfect height for me. Oh yeah, yep, that'll work. Now it's time to put our shelter over top, which is going to be my DD tarp. So we're going to go ahead and try. I don't that know out. if you guys can see. I had the camera zoomed in quite a bit, but these are the uh, loops I'm talking about. So you can adjust. There's probably like 12 or 13 loops on each. We got our DD tarps. Uh, this is the uh, the three by three, which is a three meter by three meter, which is like a ten by ten. Uh, absolutely love this thing. If you guys have seen any of my videos where I go out and camping using a tarp, this is the one I always use. It's got, what is it, like 19? Yeah, 19 different attachment points on it. You pretty much use this thing as a tarp, as a tent, as, you know, whatever you want it to be, a, a poncho. Uh, this thing is amazing. I absolutely love it. So, very cool. I always do this diamond shape because it gives me a lot more room covers the whole entire head to feet. So what I'm gonna do, go ahead and do another overhand knot. Take this one. I don't know if you guys can really tell. There we go. Starting to come along. I can put my camera in here because my camera is soaked. Oh yeah, it's thundering and lightning out. It definitely got a lot darker. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. So. I hope you guys are ready. I hope you guys are prepared for this because it's raining hard. Alright, so while I'm thinking about it, even though I did bring plenty of water, I'm going to go ahead and get a pot out and put it at the ends of these tarps right here so I can go ahead and collect that rainwater. What's even more crazier is I just went through a whole entire battery and I probably got maybe like a good 20-30 minutes of recording out of it. I recorded a little bit of the trip up here, a few different beautiful uh, scenery spots as I'm driving through the uh, canyons and up and through the backwoods, uh, through some, some trails. And uh, that battery is already gone. So it's storming like crazy right now. But, you know, it still feels good to be out and about, away from work, away from the city, all that stuff. Um, yeah, this is crazy. I don't think I've ever camped when it's raining actually like this hard. Um, I just filled up my whole entire, um, 
coffee pot, my uh, my percolator. So I'm gonna have to start charging up my uh, my second battery for my main camera here. I might end up using my phone to do a lot of recording of this trip. Uh, I kept calling this like uh, I was thinking about the video title, uh, which you guys will see once you guys click on it uh, here in the future. Uh, but I'm thinking about calling this like the Great Escape. But I don't know. I mean. Every time I shut my, my camera off to save battery, it just like, you hear thunder, like it sounds like it's hitting real close. Um, so I don't know. I mean, trying to get uh, fire going is gonna be pretty hard. Luckily, I still have a lot of black and white fire starter uh, kits with me. I have some uh, natural tinder like birch bark. Uh, and we're gonna have to eventually go out in the rain. It's gonna suck and try to collect some wood. Um, I'm trying to figure out a game plan right now. Um, Usually I had a routine going on when I was coming out almost every week and going out camping and making videos for you guys. But right now with all this rain, it's like I don't really want to go out there and get wet and, and all the other stuff. And I can't imagine once the guys get here, they're going to have to hike, you know, I don't even know, maybe like a mile or two miles in to go ahead and get to the spot when it's pouring down like this and try to set up. There goes the thunder again. Woo! Gotta love the adventure, baby. What, I'm sure you guys are asking what this is. This, this is a uh, hot dog buns. That's what I love about the beauty of having these DD uh, tarps because it's got all these uh, uh, little loops at, on all sides of this uh, tarp so you can hang stuff off it. If I wanted to, I could hang a string of lights all the way around and be all nice and lit up. If I wanted to, I could hang uh, groceries like this, um, you know, whatever it may be, some cords, some chargers, all that good stuff. So I absolutely love this hammock or this uh, tarp. The hammock, I can't wait. I'm, I'm telling you right now, I'm probably going to love it. Uh, very beautiful. Right. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but we got a, a, a little pond right there by where the... Uh, woo! Holy crap. That is crazy, guys. Man, it's coming down again real hard. I might actually get my uh, my cooking pot out too and collect some water and that way... Not that we don't gonna have enough. Between the three, uh, the four of us, we're gonna have plenty of water. But you know, using using nature, uh, that we can thrive out here, which is you know what bushcrafting is. Even though this isn't really a bushcraft kind of outing video, uh, you know we're still gonna be practicing bushcraft, as I said. And uh, yeah, it's coming down hard right now, guys. This is absolutely crazy. You recorded me in my first. Yep. Hammock <laughs> setup. First hammock set up. Oh, here, out. Out here at Yellow River State Park. And behind me, we finally have Herbert T. Outdoors. Link is going to be down in the description below. Let me go ahead and get a zoom in on for you guys. Yeah. How was the drive? Long. Long. <laughs> Long, windy. Yeah. So that, uh, he's going to go ahead and set up his hammock. Cobacure. Cobacure, huh? With the mosquito netting. And this is gonna be your first tryout with it, huh? Grip. Oh, nice. And remember how this opens. Tripod. Well, that's pretty snazzy. Where'd you get that at? Walmart. I don't think any of our Walmart's had any fancy stuff like that. Yeah, they just came out with it. So it can sit. 
What's up? Not bad. Not bad. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dan here with the Herbert T. Outdoors channel. As you can see, I'm in the woods. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, this one's a little special occasion. Uh, got somebody here with me. You might recognize him. It's Tyler Woods from Tyler Woods Bushcraft. What's going on, guys? Link will be down in the description for his channel. You have to check him out. We're going to do a little uh, couple overnighters here and uh, have a good time. Eat some good food, have some good company. Absolutely. We got another guest that will be coming. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll introduce him a little bit later when he gets here. And, uh, but for now, we're going to go head out. We had a, a pretty good downpour. Ground's wet, but we are going to go hunt up some wood. Absolutely. Hopefully find some, some good stuff. We'll catch you guys in a little bit. Ooh. I got the behind the scenes. So now that we got all of our uh, campsite all set up, uh, me and Dan with Herbert T. Outdoors, we are on a little side mission to try to find some wood to get us through the night and then probably have to go and collect some more later. But we shall see. Uh, right now we're going up to a few different spots that I have not actually been up to, so it should be pretty cool. He's back there doing a vlog. I'm up here doing mine and uh, it's cool you know two youtubers out here camping you know like-minded very cool um, so yeah it's just beautiful out here except it's wet I'm so glad I have my concrete boots in my Jeep and uh, I, I had just my regular tennis shoes on I forgot to grab my boots my uh, my woods boots I used to go out in the woods I left those at home I was in such a hurry to come out here and uh, totally forgot about them so as soon as uh, Dan pulled up you know introduce do our introduce and you know do uh, yeah <laughs> as soon as Dan showed up we went ahead and uh, uh, said hellos and got our gear and came up and he set up his his uh, camp spot and uh, I noticed in my Jeep I had my boots. So I was like, oh, that's awesome because my feet are just drenched. Definitely gonna have to get a nice roaring fire tonight, get everything dried out. As you guys saw earlier, it was just downpouring like crazy. But uh, I mean, look at this view right here, guys. Absolutely beautiful. It's just, just in the smell too, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, you don't get much better than that. Fresh air. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Hey, we're social distancing. We're six feet apart. Yeah. <laughs> Even out in the woods. What's that? Not the Fiskers? It is. Nice.
first time when you're trying out the new Thera rod. Of course, I can't get everything in the same panel. It's not good. So <laughs> That's fine. Uh, first Wood Squad Meetup 2020. We got Herbert T. Outdoors, my good buddy Dan. And we got Colin here with King Kate Outdoors. Links are going to be down in the description below. And this is going to be the first ever Wood Squad Meetup. We are here at Yellow River National Forest. State, and State Park. We are here at Yellow River State Forest, State Park. We are we are here at Yellow River State Park. I'm joined with my good buddy Dan with Herbert T Outdoors and my good buddy over here Colin with King Kate Outdoors. Check out their channels. The link will be in the description down below. We got all kinds of activities going on this weekend, so stay tuned because this is going to be a good one. Cool. And cut. I've actually got some stuff to show you, which is I think is really cool. Oh, I'm also putting my radio in here, which I need to put. Uh, my batteries are in here. Put that in there. So this is the beauty thing about when you meet up with other people, we get to show off all the gear and stuff, and we're yeah, just we're here like, oh. At a place in Des Moines called Stuff. They had a whole bunch of these for three bucks, Molly compatible and everything else. This is the see the problem I have where I'm at is <coughs> oh crap. Okay, well, you try that one. I haven't really tried that one much, but go right ahead. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like it was the problem I had too. Most strikers are junk. But, that, but I didn't say the feral rod was junk, I just said that the strike, most strikers. And this is going out. One hand is a version. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Picked that up at the Iowa Deer Classic a couple years ago. So right. The even. compass didn't last five minutes. We have I mean, no army surplus in our area. No. Yeah. How'd that go with work? I carry a necklace that takes my boy. This one was your encampment for one maiden reason, Tyler. The orange backpack. Yep. <laughs> then the deer I just saw. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever see a, a boss fire kit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you get one of these? Yep. And a, with a little you know, pencil sharpener thing? I don't know if it would be practical for me because mm. uh, bow drills are my bane of my existence. <laughs> yeah. Good old hot dog. First night as part of our dinner. I've tried bow drills before. I can never get them to work. I'm not sure why. But just every time I try, I get a lot of smoke and nothing. You know, I knew it was going anyway. I'm sure you guys are wondering why I got a cooler that says $20. It's because I forgot my cooler at home, so I had to stop at our local Dollar General to pick this up. And to be honest, it's actually still have plenty of ice. 
and I've got the thing no back way. to the rim. <laughs> 20 bucks at Dollar General. Can't beat that. Interesting Good old hot dog. To so. alcohol. Yeah. The alcohol distribution. We've got some of, some of those too. <laughs> Came with a kit. It's sad when you got a... Yep. Okay, but... No, it's Aubrey. Awesome. Oh, no, no, no. Not Aubrey thing. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I've had squirrel. I've had raccoon. I've had beaver. I would not eat skunk. I don't care who you are. Hey, you, know, you don't have to taste the flavor of anything if you burn the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's survival it works. Survival 101. I still think mind. we could should do this in the wintertime because it's open all year round up here. Yeah, but it might be a little dangerous with the hills and stuff. As, as like I said, I took a huge fall today. The first time I've fallen in probably five, six, seven years. Well, the thing is, in the wintertime, you wouldn't be wearing your rubber boots. You'd be wearing... I wasn't wearing these. Oh, what was yeah. you wearing? I okay. was wearing tennis shoes. Oh. But they have decent traction on them. Better break because I had to go meet him. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, okay. yeah, it was just horrible. Thank you for these. We got two more packs of these at home. <laughs> Back at the tent. Yeah. Got a pack in here. <laughs> yeah, Bushcraft that. food is Bushcraft 101 is hot dogs. Yeah. Right. All right. So on the way down here, I picked up a new reel. This is the Ugly Stick GX2. I put my uh, baitcaster reel on there. I've got uh, this is 60. I think 60 pound test line on there. I don't know if you guys can see that if it'll come up. There we go. So really good line. I'm going to go ahead and start stringing this up and I'll show you guys kind of what I'm going to use. Uh, my mission this weekend is some trout. I would like to do a catch and cook with some uh, brown trout or even if there's some rainbow up here or whatnot. So I'm going to go ahead and send all this line through and then I will go ahead and show you guys what I carry in my tackle box. Brown trout is natural in the area, but the rainbows are stocked. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Very cool. All right, so now I got all my line through. I'll go ahead and take you guys through my tackle box and show you what I like to carry and why it works best for me. Got the Plano, this is the 3700 series. This fits perfectly in my day rock sack. Um, got lots of different spots for different kinds of objects. Uh, I've been on a real big kick lately with uh, the Guggen Squad baits. These are the, uh, this is the Bambito bug. So there you guys go, if you guys can see that. These things work really good for bass. So I probably won't be using that this weekend just because trout don't usually go for that kind of stuff. They like to go for what's in their ecosystem. Um, I have a few stuff. I had a few subscribers send me that I'll be going through. Uh, some of these right here, uh, which I think you can pick these up at your local Walmart. Uh, really good. I got lots of different assortments of weights. I even got this huge guy right here. This guy is just massive. Uh, this is Big Chungus. For all you guys who are curious. Um, a lot of these uh, power baits. I use power baits quite a bit. Uh, crappie, bluegill, bass, everything goes for these. So they uh, when they go through the water, they swim real naturally. Really cool. Um, few different little odds and ends stuff down here but I will say it now this is gonna be the this is gonna be the lucky one right here this is what's gonna catch me all the trout a subscriber named Donald Morris sent me this he said this is a guaranteed to catch trout so I am super excited about that that's what I'm gonna be probably hooking up and running through with some weight um, I got some other uh, <clears throat> baits in my bag. I haven't. I have to restock this. This is actually pretty low considering how much I, I like to go fishing and carry stuff. I got the massive hooks for you never know. Maybe some big old catfish, bullhead, whatnot. Different different size hooks, different size, different kinds of uh, what I call fake bait. You know. But uh, if you guys are interested in bass fishing, definitely go with the Guggen Squad baits, the Bambito Bug. These things are awesome. Um, and some of these guys too, they look like little minnows, just about every kind of fish goes after those. So that is what I'm carrying in my bag, and like I said, I'll probably end up running with this guy. I heard this guy is going to be the king at catching trout. So, very cool. There we go. Zoom in.
Signals. The only thing awesome. Around the bend and come and not come across another person. Yeah. You know, it's just that crowded. I don't like that at all. And I can't fish around so a bunch of people. They also stock all the containment ponds around there. Right. With, uh, bass, trout, catfish. There's a trout farm not too far. Crappie. And they put. Uh, they have some gold medal ponds there. For, you know. I'm it, they they say. If you catch one, what was it, over, you can keep one over 25 inches. That's it. Wow, that's pretty big. Yeah. I got a... I'm shooting over it now. Yeah. We need a better tinder muddle in there. There you go. All right, first night is done. I'm actually in my tent, the LLB Microlight. Uh, Colin and his boy are sleeping up here tonight. They're originally going to plan on sleeping at the other site and then coming up tomorrow. But we got late doing some fire fireside chat and uh, now we're all hunkered down and we'll see you guys for breakfast. So can't wait. Catch you guys later. <laughs>